Okay. Um, this is actually my first walk since returning home from my um, well, Northern Territory Greatest Hits bushwalking tour with Joanne. Um, so yeah, I'm back in Victoria, back at home in Melbourne. Joanne's back at home. Um, and so I'm on, I'm flying solo again now for a, a fair while. Um, so I'm actually, I've, I've wandered down to a place called Coronella. Um, it's not far from home. I've been just sorting out gear. I've only been home a couple of days sorting out gear and, and things like that. So I've found myself with a couple of hours to spare. So I thought I'd wander down to Coronella um, on Western Port Bay. And I'm going to walk down to Coronet Bay along the coast. And oh, I found this little walk on all trails. You never know with all trails. can be a bit hit or miss. We'll see how it all goes. Um, but yeah, it's about 7Ks, 8Ks, I guess, the whole walk. Um, and it should be fairly, uh, fairly easy, I would think. All right, I'll catch up with you later on. So that is uh, Western Port Bay. That's French Island across the water there. And this is Settlement Point. It's a pretty sensational winter's afternoon. Okay, well I visited Settlement Point, which is just a 50 metres from the car, 100 metres from the car. Now I'm heading off along the coast down to uh, Coronet Bay. I'm thinking it's going to be mostly a crushed gravel path like this, but I really don't know. I'm hoping I can walk the coast one way and probably on the way down because the tide's on the way in and maybe walk the cliff tops on the way back. But we'll see how that all pans out. Alright, so that little, um, those buildings down there, that's Coronet Bay, that's where I'm heading for. Perfect day, be perfect for a paddle today. So I'm just, um, at the moment walking through the back kind of back suburbs or back streets of um, Coronella, just on a thin strip of, there's the ocean over there, just on a thin strip of native bush between the houses and the cliffs. I don't think the houses will go much further. Hopefully I can find a way down the cliffs onto the beach. It's a sensational day though, still. About 20 degrees colder than I'm used to, but still sensational. Okay, well I found some steps, so let's head down the coast for a while. See if we can get through below the cliffs while the tide's still down a bit. Western Port Bay is certainly the quieter of Melbourne's two bays. Or two big bays anyway. Port Phillip, which is where all the action is, relatively speaking. Over here, it's generally just peaceful and quiet. A few fishermen around every now and then.
So it's pretty, um, pretty cruisy walking down here. One rock band I had to jump over, which is a bit slippery. I'm wearing my Merrell's Moabs today. I haven't worn them for a while now. I don't have as much grip as the my hawkers. But yeah, it's all pretty cruisy walking so far. The beaches are cut up by, I don't know if you can see the the prints there, they're horses. Um, so it looks like people train horses or but have horses running along here. But it's all pretty easy, really. It's certainly um, the definition of a sleepy, relaxing walk, though. Okay, so I've arri arrived Coronet Bay in the outskirts of. I've never been to Coronet Bay, so might wander along a little bit further. The tide's on the way in. If you see that creeping up the sand there. But yeah, um, I've never been there, so I might just wander a bit further along the beach, have a bit of a poke around. Certainly got a bit of a melancholy feel to this place in the middle of winter. But I got a bit of a, a melancholy mind at the moment after coming home from three weeks of tropical water holes and stunning bushwalks. So it kind of suits my mind at the moment, to be honest with you. So I'm just uh, poking around Coronet Bay a little bit. Just going to climb up here to Mount Coronet and have a look at a view and then I think that'll do me. I think I'll turn around and head back to the ute, try and get back before it gets dark. Now, Mount Coronet might be a feral fact too, but I'm going to go with it. All right, I better make a move in case I'm walking in the dark. I've just checked out Coronet Bay. I'm just about to, and this is where I'm going to return to that settlement point down there. In the distance, around there. Um, rather than walk back to the beach though, I'm going to try and find a track up through the coastal scrub. And this white pole here, I reckon might be the starting point. We'll see how we go. It's all pretty informal. I'm either going to walk into someone's backyard or I'm going to find a bit of a track heading off into the trees or maybe both. Okay. Definitely feels like I'm walking in someone's backyard. There's a track there, but I'm pretty sure. That's just going straight back down to the beach. I'm guessing. Let's go up this way. Let's see what we find. Wow, what we have found is a whole lot of houses. Look at this. Now here's a track too. Happy days. I 
Little of the new houses getting built there. Hmm. All right, this should be a track I can follow all the way back to the ute, I think. Tom will tell us, there we go. This is a nice, easy little little path. So that is the Wang Tool Tool Lom Panong which I guess means wetlands. The local indigenous dialect, maybe. Well, once again, that could be another feral fact. Looks tropical, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe not. It's the sun going down behind French Island. So I'm just back in Coronella. Now, like I mentioned before, Coronella's on Western Port Bay. Um, it's one of our earlier settlements, which is probably why we've got Settlement Point out there. I think it dates back to about the 18, mid 1820s. Um, I think they first built a little fort or something here back in the day. Of course, the uh, here we go, just walk past this. The uh, local indigenous Bonarong have been here for quite a few thousand more years than that. So this is where I um, drop down to the beach on my outward journey. So I'm basically rejo rejoining my um, outward route at the bottom of these steps here. I'm retracing my way back to the ute. I reckon uh, I'm about five minutes from the end of the walk, maybe ten. Um, it's getting a bit dark now. I'm just about to jump into the trees again. So I probably won't video anymore. I'll video, might wander out to Settlement Point, get the last of the sun when I get back, do the finished video from there. Okay, I'm back out at uh, Settlement Point. Clips are looking um, pretty sweet now in the bewitching hour. 
I'll just go over to the other lookout and sign off, I think. Just over there. All right. This is it for me. This is the last lookout, and I'm heading back home. about um, 9.2 k's on this walk. It's a pretty nice walk. This, this uh, person coming, so I'm at this quick. But this is an easy walk. Check the tides, do a, a low to middle tide. Um, nice little walk if you're on a quiet one with not too many people around. All right, I'll catch up with you next time.